Jimmy Carter held the title of worst president in history for nearly 30 years. Barack I is now holding that title. Jimmy's like that crazy old uncle that every family has who goes around saying stupid things at which the rest of the family must smile and nod. Well, Jimmy has once again come forward with something against the grain of common sense. He wrote an op-ed for the New York Times where he stated his desire that the United States recognize the state of Palestine and hopefully influence the United Nations to do so. His opinion piece contains lie after lie and not once does he discuss any Palestinian intent to wipe our ally Israel off the face of the earth. What Jimmy wants is for Barack I to officially recognize the state of Palestine before he vacates the White House and to push for the UN to recognize Palestine as a full-fledged member. It's important to remember that there is no such thing as a Palestinian. In reality, there are former Jordanians who for political purposes began being called Palestinians in opposition to the re-establishment of Israel to her homeland. Why the UN should accept as a member a people that encourages Islamic violence and demonstrates an unwillingness to recognize the basic human rights of Israelis, Christians, and even other Muslims is beyond anyone. He writes that Palestinians live in what he calls occupied territories. He also says they are forced to live under Israeli military rule, which is utterly false. As the whole world is aware, Hamas rules the Palestinians in Gaza with an iron fist, even forcing them to protect rockets and other weapons with their very lives. Palestinians in the West Bank live under the Palestinian Authority, led by Mahmoud Abbas. He also refers to many Israelis living in Jerusalem as settlers. This is beyond outrageous, since Jerusalem has been the capital city of Israel since King David. This peanut farmer, like all leftists, doesn't understand that while the Palestinian people may want a state, there is no Muslim authority on earth that will accept one without Israel's extinction being part of the deal. This fool needs to read up on history as well as blow the dust off his Bible and crack it open before he embarrasses himself like this again. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the RayWarnerShow.com.